We need to talk about what is secretly one of the greatest scandals in all of ceramics. Have you ever had mold grow on your finished pots? The problem is vitrification. Vitrification is the reason why we fire ceramics to higher temperatures. Vitrification comes from the Latin word vitrium, which means to become glass. That's what we want our clays to do, become glass, which is non-porous, and that keeps mold from growing in our fired body. This is the ASTM, which defines industrial quality standards. The ASTM defines a vitrified clay as having less than 0.5% absorption. The problem is that many clays, especially at cone 6, have absorption of 3%. This is not good. 3% is under fire to full stop. Why do they say 3% is okay? Because getting clays to vitrify temperatures under cone 10 is difficult chemically. So instead of addressing the challenge, they change the definition of vitrified and hope people won't notice. This is a firing curve we ran on one of the most popular cone 5 clays in the U.S. It's listed as having an absorption rate of 2.3%, plus or minus 1%. In our testing, we found at cone 5, this clay actually has an absorption of 4%, 8 times higher than the ASTM absorption level, and the clay wasn't actually vitrified until cone 8. Since the clay isn't fully vitrified at its, at its stated temperatures, it can absorb water and grow mold in your fired clay. It's unacceptable, and we want people to know, but it will continue until people learn about their clays and demand them to be better.